It's the first eviction of the summer, but it wouldn't be anything without one thing. The Boreham Wood Massive. There's a scent of blood in the air. They're hungry for some booing. Oh, I love the smell of boring wood in the evening. You're very well. Coming up on today's show, Radio One's BB Allen's with us. <laughs> XFM breakfast DJ and comedian Paul Tonkinson's with us. <laughs> They're here to defend not only their favourite housemates, but their fellow countrymen, Bonnie and Glyn. Bonnie and Glyn's friends and family are with us. <laughs> I'll be finding out uh, in tonight's crowd reckon she'll be the first to be booted out of the Big Brother house this year as well. But before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to catch this. Excellent work, Idris. Fiery God in Welsh, I might add. And we're going to kick off the show, as you always do, a little brother's big news. Get out! Going very well so far. Well, hello. Uh, at 8.23 this morning, Big Brother caught Imogen doing something in her sleep that no self-respecting beauty queen would be proud of. Let's take a look. But the mere fact she can do that in her sleep means that's a true Welsh beauty queen talent. Right, it's eviction night, and normally what to wear is the biggest worry. At 11.28 today, Glenn realised he had another kind of pressure building up. Let's take a look. You know, before I came in here, yeah, um, I got really nervous, and he had to give me some tablets for, you know, stomach problems. Would it be possible to get them tonight? Just in case I get nervous and I don't want to tap myself going out of that door. I am going to go out here with a smile, but I do trouble, have trouble with nerves. Uh, however, Bonnie is less worried about her possible eviction. At uh, 2 I 5 this afternoon, she came to Big Brother to share her worries about the idea, inexplicably, there might be cameras in the house. Take a look. Right, listen. <sighs> is there a camera in the shower? Because if there isn't, that's bang out of order. Because I've been in that shower, you know, naked. Big Brother can confirm that there is not a camera behind the silver pane in the shower. Villa. Big Brother does not show any gratuitous nudity. What does the gratuitous mean? Mm, that, my friends, was Big Brother's... Uh... Oh, Lucifer's beard! It can't be happening four days in a row! The Pash phone's going, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hello there, BBLV News Desk. I beg your pardon. So, let's just get this straight. Are you telling me there's been more Pash in the house? And she's with who? How many in the bed? And she did what? So, can I have the names? Are you telling me... Once again, for the fourth day in a row, they're going to have to tune in tonight to Channel 4. Tonight, specifically 8.30 to see it. Never call me again. <laughs> oh, no, but it's big news. Wonderful stuff. OK, as you know, we won't find out the results of eviction until later on tonight. However, we thought we'd like to conduct our own survey. And like the housemates today, <laughs> we've got the horn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Glenn, 31 honks and a wahey. Unbelievable. Now, what a first week it's been. On Tuesday, Shabazz decided to leave the house, and yesterday, Dawn was sent packing by Big Brother. And now, to top it off, you're going to have finally have your say as uh, you get to evict either Bonnie or Glenn tonight. Frankly, I think it's time we calm things down a little bit. Some things never change. Thank goodness for a goddess. Although, what she's going to make of this is an entirely different matter. Come with me. Davina, yeah. Aqua <laughs> Davina. Oh, you look lovely. What a wonderful outfit. Come and sit down with us. How are you? I'm all right. What how are you, you doing? I was just looking at myself in the mirror thinking, oh, gosh, I look like a trout. And how did it go? Well, quite glad I'm putting on, you know, something else. I think you look quite thinking, terrific tonight. Thanks. Now listen. Yeah. I haven't, had a chance to, I haven't had a chance to speak to you at all uh, for this series. So what have you made of it so far? Uh, one week down, three housemates, or almost three housemates gone. Doesn't it feel like a lifetime? Weird, isn't it? A week! Hello! The thing I'm probably most happy about is romance. Mm -hmm. Romance, that, romance. That... There's tons of it. You love but... romance, but it's everywhere. Do you it's... believe it, though? Well, I'm not sure about Caesar. I think he does quite like it, but I think if she didn't like him, he'd be straight on to someone else. Mm -hmm. But I think Grace and George have potential. She's got to knock Mikey on the head, I don't think that's right. I think Mikey and Nicky. Yes, that could work. You've been quite classist about this. That? I like that. No, 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 I'm not being classist at all because Nikki wants to go with somebody uber rich. I don't know what Mikey's financial situation is, but I think they get on. Yes, OK. Now, who will be Miss Moore, Shabazz or Dawn or neither? Well, Shabazz was a big presence, but right. I think now that he's gone, it's given a chance for other people to come Absolutely. to the fore because actually we couldn't hear any story until Shabazz had left. And Dawn, I'm just... Angry with. Oh, are you a bit annoyed you couldn't get your teeth into both of them? No, I'm not. Wife. I don't want to interview Dawn because she's a cheat. <laughs> OK. How do you think Bonnie or Glyn will cope with being the first to be booted out? Because like you said, they've only just uh, started to, to come into themselves. I think that's a really, really sad thing for both of them, actually, because I think they're both quite vulnerable characters mm -hmm. and I think that they'll take it uh, quite badly, equally. I think that, that, that Glyn's very, very young, he's very mm -hmm. naive, he's very innocent. Bonnie's had such a bad start, she got booed. Yeah. She's the first housemate um, to go in, which must have been weird. Then she had Pete's and she wasn't quite sure what was going on there. Then second day she found out Lisa didn't like her, yeah. which must be horrible Absolutely. in front of everyone. You know, you can't, you can't come back after that. How do you recover? So it's going to be tough on, on either of them too. Nice. Please don't. OK, but you're putting your feet on. I've got my socks on. Straight socks. Necessarily okay. mine. And, and just lastly, shoes. what are you wearing tonight? Well... I'm going You're going to tell me? No, I'm just going to tell you, sort of, that I'm going to show off my bump. Wonderful. I'm going to find out what you're wearing one of these days. No. You've won the battle, but not no. the warmer call. <laughs> Lastly, before we go, oh, uh, we are having a, a wonderful sort of wall of stuff, for want of a better word, and we've got this this week. Ooh la la. Someone... Oh. <laughs> 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 Which is quite simply quite brilliant. And that's, uh, oh. that's from Linda. Best Thank luck with your baby. Linda, I really, there's a bee on my little nip there, but I'm just praying that my boobs will still look like that after I've had a baby. Absolutely. I it's don't one, think they and will. And it's, wonder, it's wonderful that Linda actually has intimate knowledge of you as well. Davina. I'd love to look like that. Have a lovely Hang show on, tonight, okay. hon. Take care. Okay, bye, bye, bye Dermot. Wonderful stuff. Bye. So, bye. Uh, there's Davina Dermot, there. Dermot, I love you. Back at you, okay. sister. Uh, if you want to bingle in or make Bonner a goner, <laughs> these numbers are cool. So, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Is it going to be Glyn or is it going to be Bonnie? Here singing Glyn's praises is Welsh Wonderboy B.B. Allard. And here to big up Bonnie uh, is funny man Paul Tonkinson. <laughs> first things first, Allard, has Glyn got the backing of the whole of Wales or is it just you and your dad? <laughs> Uh, no, Wales is firmly behind Glyn and Imogen, but obviously she's not up this week. Well, I was going to say, is, is, Glyn, is Glyn a... Uh, is Wales going to shouting for Imogen or Glyn? Who's more popular? Um, I would say, at the moment, Imogen, but then we don't really know that because she's had quite a quiet week. Whereas, obviously, with Glyn being up for eviction this week, then all the attention's been on him. Okay. And there's a lot of support. Like, the Welsh radio stations and the Welsh TV shows have been supporting Glyn and getting a lot of support for him. OK, we're going to talk about Bonnie in just a second. Uh, before we do that, let's have a look at both Bonnie and Glyn so far. Glyn's, like, really coming out of the Like, if I was watching Glyn, I would find him highly entertaining. Because he's just so... It's funny, he's so patriotic about Wales. It's hilarious. He's only a young guy in... He is a bit quiet, but I think he's he's, he's funny and you now when he does get involved, he's a, he's a laugh. We like to go to the pool together and like swim around and sing songs in it. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> and that's good. I like, I like, I like Glenn. He's wicked. I think the fact that Bonnie sort of got her clothes today has, has cheered her up a bit because she feels a bit more upbeat because she's got a nice ev eviction or possible eviction outfits. Started speaking to Bonnie because you know I said I was like wasn't really hearing what Bonnie was saying. And I forget she was here, <coughs> so I sort of you know, gave it a try and starting to see her more now and get her in my head. You know, it's like so I talk to her. So that's good. You know, so many people are in here going, oh, she's so quiet, she's so quiet. You know, we have to put her up for nomination. But, you know, it's not all about being quiet. Paul, oh, yes. Bonnie's come out of a shell a little bit since, uh, certainly since Shabazz and Dawn have left. Yes. Is she the sort of normal girl you'd be cheering for? She's, a, she's the English rose, isn't she? She's kind of... Well, from the minute... Well, I say that, I'll use that term loosely. When she, from the first moment when she pulled up a jumper and showed us her belly in the video, <laughs> that kind of thing works up north. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I'm blazing up. It brings them northerners running from the fields, just worshipping. <laughs> We're just going mental for Bonnie. Well, her I'm profile not... promised so much. Have we seen everything and everything she's got to offer? I, I think there's a lot more to come. I think. Yeah, I mean, look at look at her mates. Look, imagine what they're capable of. Just look at it. <laughs> there's a lot more. I just want us to be in there so we can understand actually what she's saying. I think the longer she's there, we might actually decipher her language. Well, think that now, what about Glyn? Glyn is a lifeguard. If only for health and safety reasons at the pool, should he be staying in? I don't think we should encourage Welsh patriotism like that. You heard them in the dressing room. They were speaking in Welsh. It was like code. It was like, if they do that, they're, they're, I mean, I mean Glyn's not Welsh, is he? He's valleys. He's valleys. It's different. A guy, okay. a guy. He's valley people. Valleys. In the valleys. Alex. You'll find he's a little bit more north than the valleys. Alex. Bonnie clearly, Alex, Bonnie clearly said she couldn't express herself without clothes. Now she's got her clothes. Yes. Will she not turn into the most amazing housemate ever? No. Come on. No, I don't think she will. I think, from what I've seen of Glyn, I think he's been quiet, just like Bonnie has. But I think with characters like Shabazz in the house, he wasn't able to be himself. Now that those characters have gone, I think we'll see a lot more of Glyn. Okay. Now that he's lost his hair, he's lost his power, though, hasn't he? Have you noticed? He's like Samson S. Yes. Lastly, boys, who do you think's going to win, shifting away from him? Do you, I mean, do you think yeah. that Bonnie or, or Glyn has the, uh, the capacity to win the whole thing? No. Too quiet, I think it'll be Pete. You I think Lisa. My money's on Lisa. Really? Yes. Nice. First person on to say Lisa. OK, thanks a lot, Alan and Paul. Thank you. <laughs> that is your little offer, part one. Join us after the break. The friends and family of Bonnie and Glenn. I'll, I'll be getting in amongst the crowd in the Big Brother Mosh Pit. Mummy, I'm scared. We'll see you in three. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Little Brothers Day 9. Time is 7.49. Uh, coming up, there'll be a quick blast from the past when we chat to an ex week one of Vic T on the phone and I'll be face to face with the fans. <laughs> uh, yesterday, Bonnie and Glyn were given the chance to win back their identities, their very beings. All they had to do was remember and describe as much of the contents of the suitcases in three minutes as they could. Those items were then given to them by a very charitable Big Brother. I can reveal Glyn did considerably better than Bonnie, chalking up a whopping 52 items while Bonnie spent the best part of a minute describing a pink hooder with a pink herd. But before we have a look at the things they forgot, let's have a look at them right now. As you can see, this is going down very well uh, in Bonnie land right now. It's a 2% cherry juice, 98% something nasty. <laughs> uh, and these, I'm reliably informed, are pink high heels, with the Demonte buckle. Uh, now then, over to Glenn's stuff. Glenn, unfortunately, is going to be the smelliest man in Christendom because he hasn't brought any toiletries into the house for them. He forgot them all. And lastly, now, and, and Glenn's friends and family might be able to help here. Now, Glenn looks like quite a small chap, quite a slim chap. Look at this. This is the most enormous shirt I've ever seen. <laughs> by, by rights, it says here, he has a 42-inch waist. <laughs> Look at it. It's as big as his. <laughs> It's all over his light box. <laughs> OK, so uh, either Bonnie or Glenn is going to be reunited with all these items tonight. Unfortunately, it won't be in the house. Here to greet them uh, and give them a lift back home after. And the friends and family, everyone. <laughs> Good to have you with us. Hello. Amongst Hello. others, speaking, are Glenn's sister, Annette. Hello, Glenn's sister, Annette. Hello. How are you? You're all right. And Bonnie's sister, Lara. It's good to have you with us, Lara. Hiya. You're all right. OK, first off, Annette, <laughs> how do you think the suitcase issue has affected... Uh, has affected he hasn't had much to wear, has he? No, he hasn't. He's been stuck in those red shorts and it's, 
It was about time that he had his pants out, his favourite Superman pants. And um, he, needs, he needs to have those clothes to have his own identity back. Quick question, a side question, that. Now, presumably you've met some other lifeguards in North Wales. Can you just answer, is your brother really the sexiest lifeguard in North Wales? If that's what he says, that's true. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Laura, uh, how would they have expressed themselves differently if they'd had their own clobber? Do you think Bonnie would have come out of a shell a little bit more? Yeah, I would do. I think her personality would come over straight away because mm -hmm. she's very comical. She's a lovely man, funny. And also as well... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you had to think about that. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah. actually, she's lovely. <laughs> and uh, how do you think uh, Glenn, Glenn's coped over the last eight days? I think he's coped well. At first he was quiet because he was sussing everybody out and now he's starting to get to know everybody and that cheeky character is really coming out. Do you so. know what, Annette? I've never been to North Wales, but you sing like a lark. I am headed there right after this show. You're oh, beautiful. You have to come. Now, lark, don't get me wrong, I'm loving Love for Two. Um, <laughs> why do you think that, uh, that both of them, but, but certainly uh, Bonnie wasn't taken into the Big Brotherhood? Is it, is it because last time you came it's on she said she was a little bit too quiet? Do you know why? It's because most people in that house are two-faced. I know I shouldn't really say that, but that's what I can you say. You shouldn't say it. I know. You're so naughty. But also, as well, Bonnie's very honest. And, to be honest, they don't like that. No. In her words, they're a bunch of bum lickers. Yeah, she says <laughs> yes. Okay. Are then? That's honesty for you. Okay. <laughs> and that, do you think Glenn was secretly happy about not having a suitcase? Because it did give him an excuse to walk semi-naked around the house for a week. Yeah, he likes to show off his body and to show off his body to the girls. Yeah, I think that was a good excuse. But he was missing his clothes. When he is at home, does he eat anything? Because he does seem to be the, sh the skinniest man in the world. Oh, he, he eats like a horse. Does he? He eats and eats and eats. Yes, he does. Wonderful stuff. OK, yes. thanks for doing that. <laughs> OK, it's just over two hours until one of them leaves the house. This could be your final chance to convince the nation to keep the housemates in. Uh, Laura, you're up first, all right? We're going to see some of Bonnie's best moments in the house. But first, you have ten seconds. Look into camera three right there and tell the people at home why Bonnie should stay. Your ten seconds starts <laughs> now. Hi, everybody out there. Let Bonnie stay in because... The best is yet to come. Come on, bring it on. Let our confidence shine. Babies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at Bonnie's best bits. So I don't think that people have really got to know the real me. Let's go! Uh, uh, yeah, come on. It's like sucking up to no one, and I haven't. You're 37 years old, you want to grow up. I want a pink hooder, it's um, got a hood on it, and I want my tan, I want my tan. I've had a really good night tonight and I've just realised that I do actually like it here. Bye bye. OK, nice stuff. Now, Annette, it is your turn, all right? Before we see Glenn's finest moments, you have ten seconds to look in the eyes of the viewers with that beautiful, swift-like, almost house-marting voice of yours uh, <laughs> and tell the viewers to uh, try and drum up support for the sexiest lifeguard in North Wales, his words. Your ten seconds starts now. Go, Glenn! He's a genuine, down-to-earth young man and he's an entertainer and he's starting to come out and there's a lot more to come. Go, Glenn! Go on. Go on. <laughs> Both friends and family, yeah, using the classic A Lot More To Come line. We like to see it used very early on as well. OK, let's have a look at Glenn's best moments. Glenn, you're wicked. When I live, the sheep just walk out from nowhere, you know? And they bring in the underwear. I have to wear a nappy all week. What kind of girls you go for, Glenn? Oh, she does. Yeah. And it's going to be like a hot stand. Oh! My friends are going to be so jealous. I'm gutted. I'm a production. The real me is coming out, and I'm really enjoying it. Friends and family! <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Now then, everyone wants to get it, not everyone wants to get into the Big Brother house, but some people do, and once they're in, what they don't want to be is the first one out. Here to give us an insight into the shame is Big Brother 4's first evictee, Anushka, Anushka, Anushka Baba. Hello, Anushka. Hello, Jamie. Are you all right? Nice to speak to you. I'm you, darling. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well. Now, listen, you've got your finals tomorrow, so best of luck with that, but Thank going you. back to your time in the house, were you scared to be the first person to leave the house? Yeah, it was hard because I was just not prepared at all. It was such a shock, so it was a little bit frightening. And what goes through one's mind when you, when you know you're up for eviction uh, by your housemates? Because you were up in, like, the first hour or something, weren't you? Yeah, <laughs> not very fair, but, yeah, it was a little bit 
um, poo, but, you know, you get over it and <laughs> you just have to put, um, have okay. a good time whilst you're there. But for tonight's show, um, you'll be able to tell us, what are they feeling right now? Probably really scared, because, like you say, you do not want to be the first person up and you know all the bad connotations which comes with being the first person out of the house. Brilliant stuff. OK, listen, uh, congratulations. Good luck with your finals. And nice to speak to you, all right? Thanks very much. Take Bye. care, Bye. Bye. Lovely stuff. So we've heard from all our guests, but you still have a chance to make your mark. Here is how you vote. <laughs> the crowd are here and they are <laughs> Hello, sir. Who do you want to out tonight? Uh, Bonnie out tonight. Why Bonnie? Uh, she's irritating, <laughs> annoying. She brings nothing to the house. <laughs> Ridiculous. Are you a big Glenn fan? Big Glenn fan. Okay, who wants? Glenn. Who wants? What about you, young lady? We're sourcing Bonnie. Okay. She's showing great potential. Okay. Who, who, who wants Glenn out tonight? <laughs> Anyone want Glenn out? You want Glenn out tonight? <laughs> to win. To win. Yeah. To win. To win. Free the chicken. <laughs> Free the chicken. <laughs> who, who, who are you liking here? Who's... Bonnie. You want Bonnie out? Yes. Bonnie what? to win. Bonnie to win. Okay. Yeah. Why Bonnie to win? Because she's keeping um, it real. Yeah, keeping it real in there. <laughs> yes, indeed, keeping it real. That is pretty much all we have time for. Thank you a lot, friends and family. Thanks for the crowd, everyone. <laughs> the Bula is around tonight at 8.30 with whoever's going to be out of there. Russell's at 10.30. We're back on Channel 4 with whoever gets evicted at 1.20. Shut it. See you then. <laughs> <laughs>